Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I'd like to welcome you to the Kerrville Weekly News for the week ending September 7, 2024. I'm taking a solo turn at, uh, for this episode. We've got several stories we'd like you to consider. Uh, first up, the Symphony of the Hills announces an exciting new season. Following the highest season ticket sales in recent years, the Symphony is opening to the public its sales. The first performance is Bolero which I hope you will check out, scheduled for October 10. The second annual Field of Honor opens Saturday with an all-day event. The Field of Honors is our flags, which honor many of the heroes of foreign wars, and it is at the Hill Country Youth Event Center. It begins this Saturday. A sponsor for Gunny's Warriors, the sponsor of the event, said they've already sold more flags this year than last year. So uh, get out and check that out. If you're going to go out to the swap meet, which will be held for the first time since uh, the May show, uh, you can see the Field of Honor. I hope you'll also check out the uh, swap meet. It's a lot of fun. They have some great um, bargains there. So check that out at the Herb Hill Country Youth Event Center. Uh, Robert Earl Keene, one of the Hill Country's uh, most favorite, famous uh, residents, is doing a final tour, and the tour will help celebrate the 30th anniversary of his Gringo Honeymoon album. He's going to have a performance on Saturday, September 7th, at the Texas Salt Block Courtyard in Bandera. And so if you have the opportunity to check out one of the Hill Country's favorite sons, Robert O'Keen will be playing. He's also going to have a tour which will conclude at Arcadia in December. So I hope you will uh, check out Robert Earl Keen. The city of Kerrville is considering a roundabout or traffic circle at the intersection of Clay and Shriner, which is one of the more dangerous intersections in Kerrville. It would make a double the number of roundabouts in Kerrville to two. And instead of installing or re rerouting the streets, the roundabout could help with this really important uh, and dangerous intersection. Kerrville Pets Alive has gotten a new home. It is a nonprofit dedicated to saving the lives of homeless pets in Kerrville. And it closed on the purchase of a new permanent location at 2926 Memorial Boulevard. Kerrville Pets Alive was formed in 2019 following a meeting of community residents, which expressed concern about the large number of animals in Kerrville. So, Kerrville Pets Alive, we've got a couple of stories from the lead this week. The first one is that Kerrville Planning and Zoning has approved plats for apartments and Mega Creek and has paved the way for more apartments. In a very short session, the Kerrville Planning and Zoning Commission zipped through a meeting that recommended the final plat approval for more than 300 apartments and recommending the annexation and zoning change to add additional multifamily units at Loop 534 and Cypress Creek Road. They also signed off on the preliminary plat of the Mega Creek concrete plant, which could add hundreds of thousands of dollars annually and sales tax revenue to the city coffers. I mentioned that Kerrville Pets Alive has um, secured a new building. Well, this weekend they're also offering a new, or rather a pet adoption on Saturday. The pet adoption will be at 2012, rather 2102 Memorial Boulevard in Kerrville. So if you would like a pet, I hope you will check out Kerrville Pet Pets Alive, and always remember, adopt, don't shop. That's going to do it for this week on the Kerber Weekly News. Thanks so much for listening, and we look forward to visiting with you again next week. <music>